Hello, thank you for tuning in to a new video. This time we tackle the painting and weathering of a TACOM 135th scale AML60. It's going to have uh, French uh, markings and uh, French colors of dark yellow and dark green. Uh, I'm a fan of TACOM. I find their kits are uh, somewhere between Tamiya and Dragon. Tamiya's engineering and fit with Dragon's detail and of course with uh, far less of Dragon's parts count. So I finished the initial build in about six hours. Uh, it was trouble free and went together without a hitch. Uh, primed it in medium gray uh, to check for imperfections and also to provide a base for the pre-shading. Okay, so here's the instructions with the color scheme I'm gonna be using. Um, it's a dark yellow uh, color and dark green and I'm gonna be using the unit markings uh, the yellow uh, with the uh, uh, antelope or gazelle or horse on it. And uh, I will not be using the keratin because if you notice that the uh, it's straight on the turret, the turret has a curve and, and arc to it. And the decal uh, on the right hand uh, corner uh, is does not have the same curvature uh, corresponding to the turret. So if you were to place the straight decal back on the turret, it is not going to have the same straightness. So I'm not going to be using it, just so you know. Okay, so on to some pre-shading. I'm using uh, Tamiya XF27 Black Green. I don't like using just straight black uh, as a pre-shade color because I find it's just too dark and it's uh, more difficult to cover. So I generally just go with uh, the darker color of the base coat. So with the pre-shade complete, I'm moving on to the base colors. And for the yellow, I'm using a combination of Tamiya Clear Yellow, Gloss White, and Desert Yellow. More or less evenly mixed and thinned with 70% lacquer thinner. Um, for the subsequent dark green, I used uh, an equal mix of Tamiya Cockpit Green and Gunzi Sangio uh, Dark Green. And again, that's with also 70% uh, thinner. Um, I do like um, having a lot of thinner. I think it's uh, it, it advantageous. It allows you to build up uh, the paint gradually, uh, and it's easier to work with. Uh, also, it allows you to get uh, very fine lines, feathered edges, and um, as we go along here, you'll uh, you'll see the dark green going over the yellow uh, with a very fine feathered edge. <laughs>
so with the base colors on the model, our next episode, I'm going to show you how I put on decals. And uh, we're going to paint the tires and start with the weathering process. So once again, thank you very much for tuning in and uh, stay tuned to the continuing progress of TACOM's AML 60.